if you're trying to set up a new Mac like this and you have your old Mac, you want to transfer everything over. Uh, normally what people will say is connect both of these to the migration assistant and uh, that's the best way. But what happens is that is limited by your Wi-Fi speed because it is going to connect through Wi-Fi and to transfer like one terabyte or two terabytes of data, it's going to take a lot of time. Better than that, what you can do is you can just use a time machine backup and from that time machine backup itself, because those are, you know, Thunderbolt, uh, uh, if you have a Thunderbolt cable, that is best. You can directly connect both of these two Thunderbolts, but that also is not necessary. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to, I have a time machine backup device, a really fast drive. So I'm going to use that directly on the main machine, which I'm going to transfer to. This is the latest backup. I took a backup right now and I'm going to transfer it directly with that. So let's follow along. Sorry for the mess. Anyways, uh, this is the Thunderbolt. Uh, this is a two terabyte uh, drive that is connected and I have connected here. Um, I don't have the Thunderbolt cable right now available. It's at my office. So that's why I'm doing this, you know, transfer with a dongle thing that is going on here. But uh, if, if there was a Thunderbolt cable, this would have been easy. I can directly connect both Macs. What to do if you don't have it. So I've connected this to my lap, the new laptop. And let's see what happens. So you can see from a time machine backup is also an option. So I put continue automatically it has detected the time machine backup so you can use this instead of waiting hours and hours on the uh, wi-fi to get all your files transferred this is going to be really fast you can see it is picking up speed while it's transferring and this is a good and fast drive so it, it's going to be much more faster than a wi-fi uh, transfer obviously so this is how you do it this is the best way to do it if you want to directly transfer from an old mac to a new mac this is the best way